check the transmission fluid in this old boy. But uh, as everybody knows, we've been kind of cleaning up the neighborhood, so I've had a lot of scrap metal donations. <laughs> a lot of this is mine I had, and then somebody gave me a refrigerator, copper, yeah, nice copper, a couple lawnmowers I had that I was planning on fixing. Well, not that one. Took parts off that one. I plan on fixing this one, but I just haven't had time to mess with it, so it's a difficult fix, just it's complicated. So that's going, just get it out of my yard. All this stuff is just a bunch of scrap. So uh, somebody told us about a different scrap yard, so we're gonna go try out this new place. So it's actually more convenient for us to go to the Kurtuk High Tech where we usually go, but people keep telling me that this other scrap yard in Virginia Beach pays better. So we're gonna go check this place out, see what it's like. I read some reviews about it. Reviews say everybody there is cool. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Throw my dirty window down. <laughs> Those rays shining through the clouds. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, that's awesome. Wow. Yeah. It says this place is at 600 feet. <laughs> <laughs> you don't believe it? I don't know. I've never been to this one. Like this whole place is a construction zone. In 1,000 feet, your destination will be on the left. On the left. There should be a recycling center. <coughs> that looks like Big Joe's tow parts, towing, auto repair. Huh. This mess. <laughs> yep. Surplus for cycling. So I don't know where the hell to go. <laughs> Pulling on the scale. Oh, wow, they even showing you. 7,500 total with the truck. Pretty cool that you can see it like that. Your destination will be on the left. Yeah, the other place there, uh, yeah. All doors must be removed from refrigerators. Great. Great. This place is a little stricter than the other place. That's probably why they pay more. So I guess we're gonna back up in this mess right here. Oh goodness gracious. This is this reminds me of the Walking Dead. <laughs>
Y'all pay more for these? No. Some people in other states, they say they uh, pay more for brake rotors. We do, but we gotta have like a whole truck on Oh, okay. This place is a little bit more strict than we're used to. Like they told us we had to take the doors out the refrigerator, which is fine. Then I was about to do that. And then another guy came up and said, you have to remove that compressor and uh, whatever else out of it also. And I went to start taking it off and he's like, nah, you can't do that here. Yeah. You gotta do it somewhere else. Like I'm at like, the other scrapyard, I felt like I could help you <coughs> and it was cool. But here I felt like anything I touched was wrong. So I kind of st stood and off. And then the other scrapyard also, we could just throw shit out on the sides, whatever. They're like, don't throw it on the side. Uh, Put it behind the trailer. I'm like, cause they want to, I don't know, but. Yeah, I didn't feel so, like I helped much today. But so you might weird. you might get paid more here for the metal, but it's more work and they're more strict. So so now I'm leaving with a freaking refrigerator still on the damn trailer. Like really? So Alright, so what's our weight now? Six six thousand. I don't remember what it was. It was seven. Seven, seven something. So yeah, yeah. about a thousand pounds so far. Wait for this light to turn. So. Green light. So now let's go. I got a little bit of copper and some aluminum to get weighed. And then we get paid. $88.60. Damn, the copper flashing, $17.50. Aluminum, $11.40. Contaminated says, aluminum, $2.10. This is Christoph Knipe. 
Um, and then the steel, we got 5760. But that's without the refrigerator, so I guess I'm just gonna pull somewhere and I'm gonna take this compressor out and uh, take the doors off and then come right back and get five bucks or something. Whatever. Question of the day. Two bucks, however much. Question but, of the day. Uh, what? Is it actually clean? Is what actually clean? The refrigerator. Yeah, all it had in it was uh, leaves. Oh, okay. So. Did pretty good. Not bad at all. So, I guess I'm going to take this refrigerator apart and then uh, bring it back in here. Just because I'm not right, I'm not leaving with that big ass refrigerator on here. So, and then we're going to get something to eat and then we might go dumpster diving. But if we go dumpster diving, we're probably going to go back home and get the van. I don't know. I don't know. It's always something. We can just take the dang refrigerator. Let's see. So this this Denise Haley, Denise Haley said, for your information, it is not a pesticide. It's a water treatment chemical. It's used to keep water supply systems safe and clean. Stop. She said, stop the drama, please. Okay. So this is what I just hit her with. People love drama. That's why we have like 800 comments the in one day. Card. The scorecard for liquid chlor 12.5% solution. Okay, this pesticide is used as a disinfectant, fungicide, microcide, poison for multiple uses, and viricide. This pesticide, oh, they said it again. This pesticide is registered for restricted use and labeled under danger category. Yeah. Toxic, toxicity of danger. They're putting that shit in your water. Hmm. And you ever heard of fluoride and all this shit? It just you makes even the water safe. Even if Are you, you kidding me? even if you have clean water, like you live in the city and you have super clean water, it's still got fluoride and stuff in it that are bad for you. Even though it's like tiny amounts, you over know, over time, over it's three still, years, it's still, it's still like cancer causing and bad for you. you you can read about fluoride in your water it has serious health effects it, it literally dumbs you down it makes you slow and not feel good and tired and people wonder why they feel like shit all the time but yeah even city water that's clean it still has chemicals in it and I won't drink it you know so Denise Haley keep your negative comments to yourself because if this had happened to your water supply you'd feel a hell of a lot differently and leaving and we comments like and that. we get it the chemicals she's putting chemicals in there it's like chlorine so we never drink the water but the water is still dirty like we have rust stains on our toilet like it's nasty we have stuff living in like the what do you call the, it the back of the, the back of the toilet where the water sits there's like stuff in there that's growing from the shit like we just we have to put a new toilet in soon like Rodney said he found like a freaking six inch slug in the toilet. Dude, it's insane. This water is dirty, dirty water. He so said it was a it slug come, monster. It comes out rusty and brown. It's from those those holding tanks. That's why she's dumping all these chemicals in there to clean it instead of fixing the problem. But anyway, this is a scrap life video. <laughs> this is our lives, man. <laughs> I gotta take a refrigerator right. apart. Let's see how much we get paid for one refrigerator, a compressor, and a radiator. Let's see how much we make. Micro metal load? <laughs> yeah. So I guess this, this is just going to be pretty much a scrap video. And then dumpster diving is probably going to be separate. Maybe. I know I want something to eat. I'm hungry.
this muddy pit. All right, so when we came in, the truck was 6,000. Now it's 5,800. So that refrigerator is about 200 pounds. So now I'm gonna take this uh, compressor in here. Man, this the way they this have place this place is set busy. Up is... Yeah, this place is pretty busy in here. Look at all these guys. Lots of stuff. Just for the refrigerator, we got ten dollars fifty cent. <laughs> Air compressor, they gave me two bucks and eight cent. Contaminate aluminum, forty two cent. So that was definitely worth leaving and taking it apart and coming back. So, that's a tip for the waitress. Yeah, that's, an, <laughs> yeah, that's another ten bucks right there. So let's go find something to eat. Awesome. Where are we going? You ready for some hunky num nums? Oh. Yeah. Where are we going? What should we eat, Elion? Where should we eat? <laughs> Boston Market. Ooh, that's yummy. Wow, man. <laughs> oh, you can smell it? That smells so good. Mm. Oh, I'm Yep, I'll take one of these, one of these, one of these. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, my gosh, it looks so good. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes, some garlic rotisserie chicken. Oh, I can smell it. It smells oh, so it smells good. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. Not, Get you a plate, not bad for 24 bucks. Holly <laughs> got her chicken pot pie. Mm -hmm. And we got a bunch of sides for all of us all right. to share. We always share. Okay. Let's get you some food. <laughs> Wait, let me get you some food. Can it up, Elion. <laughs> so, our last video talking about like selling Sandy Point and everything is basically a comparison you know I was just showing my place compared to like the campground like trying to say like if somebody wants me to clean asking me to clean my place maybe the rest of the place should be clean and respectable it's kind of hard to clean your place when your place is in the middle of a dump you know but uh, but we were not talking about her selling Sandy Point like to someone else. We were talking about like us kind of selling Sandy Point like on our videos, making it look. We were helping her for a long time. Like making the place look nice, like a you and know. The place is nice. That's the problem. The like Knotts Island, the beach. It, it what? Well, I should say it. It was a lot nicer. It was way nicer. It was a lot nicer last summer. It was beautiful. This past summer, it started to show signs of like getting worse, but and being dumped in. And, but we, but, our intentions are not to sue anyone. There's not going to be any lawsuit. Oh, I don't know about that. Well, when Holly put that in the title, it's more like her taking us to court for the eviction. You know what I mean? Just. Mm. You know how YouTube is, man. You gotta make your videos interesting. The more I, but the more I dig, the more I dig into those chemicals. The more I research, the more I realize that they're cancer-causing chemicals. And yeah. <sighs> I found things that I haven't even shared with you yet. Really? I mean, it's, it's just things that are more and more making me realize that. This isn't just about. This isn't just about wanting her to change the water. Now it's about how much damage has it already done. How much you know? We can get our blood tested. We can find out if we have chemicals build up in our blood and carcinogens. If you have carcinogens attacking your red blood cells. You're going to be more apt to get cancer. And I don't know. But the more that I read, the more it pisses me off. So I don't know about we're not suing anybody because I'm actually getting kind of pissed. 
That's just me. Holly might be going to get tested, I guess. Mm -hmm. but, uh, and Elion. Anyway, I just want to give y'all a heads up. That wasn't really what the video was about, like suing and all that stuff. It was just like me, I was just basically saying, look at these roads, look at the beaches, look, you know, and you're pointing the finger at my yard, which I admit that was messy and mm -hmm. I have cleaned it up like big time. I've really been working on it. I mean, all the neighbors, total through all the neighbors helping each other out, clean up. We had two full trailers piled with trash that we took to the dump. I mean, we really have cleaned up the neighborhood a lot, but... But is she gonna clean up? Yeah, but okay. I was kind of making a video showing like, just our little cul-de-sac or our little road aren't the only people that need to clean. Like, this whole place is a dump, you know? So, and it all looks like shit, and it, I don't know. When you feel like but, your landlord doesn't care about the place when you feel like she she personally just runs it like it's a freaking dump why you kinda, would you yeah, care you kinda you, like, why would like, you oh, worry you about know, it i could pick that up but mm, yeah you know, i'll whatever. pick it up whenever i have time <laughs> i'll pick it up whenever i have time i mean you but know. if she ran it you know if everything was really clean and nice and orderly you'd be like wow janice wouldn't like this um maybe i should like fix this like you'd think in your head like janice wouldn't like this but at this point, you're like, oh, Janice does this, so what? She, <laughs> it, it doesn't feel important, you know. But that's yeah. When the she's owners, that. when the only, when the owners only do something to the place when they have to, like something breaks or something, just maintenance. Yeah. They only do maintenance that they have to do. So that was basically my point of the video. So anyway, we're gonna finish eating. To family. So we went and got some money for some scrap. Got us something to eat. Came home and grabbed a van. <laughs> Cause it's more comfortable to ride around in. So we're going to look for some free stuff. So it's been a long day. Scrap run and some dumpster it's diving. It's been a long week. All in the same day. Yeah, it has been a long week. We've been working like crazy. Cleaning up. I've been working on some pipes and stash boxes and... I just got a hundred dollar order for some candles. Oh Lord. So. It's hard to be pretty when you're big. Yeah, when you're tired. When you're depressed. <laughs> <sighs> anyway. Well, hopefully some free stuff will cheer us up here pretty soon. The we're being poisoned by our trailer park dumpster dive. <laughs> <laughs> we don't drink the water, so it can't be killing us too bad if you don't drink it, right? But, yeah, I have, but your pores do soak a lot oh, of stuff in. I have headaches in, every so. day perpetually. Yeah. On a daily basis, I have headaches. Like, yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know either. You want to pretend like we're happy and everything's okay for the rest of the night? <laughs> hey, that's what you got to do sometimes. Life's, life's tough sometimes, but you just gotta keep on going and smiling. Just whatever. <sighs> Holidays? Walmart <gasps> dumpster. I love Walmart dumpsters. Yeah, Walmart dumpsters are good. Usually. Oh, this is so exciting. I don't know why they have a plastic bag in it. It's like they have a dumpster liner in it. What is that? A futon? What? Got a whole futon? Oh. All right, let me put the camera down. Ugh.
Oh, that's a whole futon, it looks like. Not bad. Not a bad start. Let's just uh, hope it's all the pieces. Yeah, and it's lumber. not broke. Brown lumber? Uh, I think it's just regular pine. Oh. I ain't messing with that. I need oak. That's weird to have a dumpster liner in this thing. Ugh. What else? What else? Well, we just scored a food man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't see anything else. Those boxes are empty, I checked. There's some boxes under all them pallets. I wonder what those are. Ugh. Along with a whole lot of things. It's too much work to get to them. Oh, I see. That's interesting. Yeah, it's interesting, but it's a lot of weight on them. Oh, what is that? I don't know if it's a few boxes. <laughs> Cardboard boxes. Cardboard. <laughs> All right. Well, we sort of Dang right. Futon score! <laughs> Dumpter! That is his freaking favorite word. <laughs> El Leon. El Leon. <laughs> Dang, I think we just scored like a pretty nice futon. I looked in the box, it looks really nice. Is it metal or wood? Uh, I just seen the cushions, the cushion, I just checked to see if the cushions were nice, and they look pretty nice. So. Hey, you can actually just sell the cushions. Well, <laughs> um, we had some good scrap life, or we sold some good scrap life, and we found a futon right away, and then we went through quite a bit more dumpsters and we found nothing <laughs> nothing and we're just tired Elion's tired so we're just gonna go home good night see you